Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2016 general readings. I am still using my beloved Gilded Tarot deck, drawing eight cards for the month, two cards for each week with an additional card as your overall theme and general feeling for the month. You can see that I have added a headset to resolve those uh, apparently unresolvable volume issues. So thank you for the feedback that the last five videos, uh, it appears to be resolved by my little fighter pilot setup here. Thank you to those of you who continue to watch and listen and subscribe uh, and give feedback every month, both the ones that you post directly on my YouTube videos and the ones you send via email. Your love and support and feedback means so much to me and keep those comments coming because I read each and every one of them and I love to see how uh, the readings resonate uh, for those of you for whom it applies. So don't stop sending those comments. I love reading them. And thank you to those of you who uh, continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings. It is always an honor and always a pleasure as I always say thank you for allowing me that small place in your life and the trust uh, you put in me to intuit the cards for you. And for those of you who are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, you can click on the about sign on my channel's homepage and that will give you a little more detail and information about uh, myself, the services I offer, and my contact information, which is Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. I do readings full-time, so I work pretty diligently at getting back to you pretty quickly and scheduling a reading as soon as possible. I'm always asked about turnaround time and it's anywhere from one to four or five days, but almost always within a week. So again, if you're interested, send me an email and we'll go from there. I would be delighted to work with you. Now these are general readings, so they won't apply or resonate the same with everyone who watches because there's so many of you watching and you all have such different and varied backgrounds and stories. So make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well, uh, particularly when it comes to different areas of your life because they may resonate more predictively for you than your sun sign. For example, I find my primary sun sign to, uh, I relate to a little bit more in matters of job and career and my, my uh, outward public uh, life. And my rising sign tends to resonate a little more predictively for me with my personal relationships. And my moon sign, um, most of the time, I tend to relate to a little bit more with my uh, deeper innermost feelings and fears and spiritual, spiritual matters as well. So check your rising and your moon sign to get as clear a picture as possible of the reading time uh, that it's associated with. And uh, shop around for other readers too. There are some months where other people uh, may resonate for more predictively for you than the readers you normally follow. Um, it's all about your getting what you need at the end of the day. And for those of you who include me in that group uh, that you watch regularly, thank you so very much. So let's move right along into this. This reading is for Capricorn for June 2000, <coughs> excuse me, and 16. <clears throat> Capricorn, June 2016. What does the beautiful month of June hold for the lovely earth sign of Capricorn? Capricorn, my rooted, reliable, dependable, sometimes stubborn Capricorns. What does June 2016 hold for you? June, June 2016, show me the energies for Capricorn for June 2016. Okay. We begin with the Six of Wands. What a great way to begin, Capricorn. Paired with the Three of Swords in reverse. We have the Three of Cups followed by the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands followed by the Five of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles followed by the World card. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall crowning card, general theme and feeling is the Six of Swords. It looks like a month of overcoming and triumph and success and overcoming stuff. Um, beautiful reading, Capricorn. Let me just take a quick look. Okay, <clears throat> let's begin. So we find ourselves at the beginning of June 2016, Capricorn with the Six of Wands, followed by the Three of Swords in reverse. 
So the Six of Wands, Wands is governed by the element of fire and air, so it's a very dynamic combination, very dynamic suit. The suit of Wands is about change, movement, action, power, forward momentum, enthusiasm, creativity, uh, inspiration, career, etc. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, of triumph over something, of success. You can see the man on this card is riding back into town. Back because otherwise, who is he? Why are they cheering him? What has he done? He went off to accomplish something, to achieve something. He went off to struggle against something, uh, and he's been successful. He's been victorious. He's riding back into town triumphant. The banners are waving, and the crowds are cheering him and giving him praise and accolades. So it looks like you're entering June Capricorn uh, triumphantly. For a lot of you who are watching, not all of you, but a lot of you, you have uh, been victorious over something, successful. And what is it that you have been successful over? That Six of Wands is accompanied by the Three of Swords in reverse. So in the upright position, the Three of Swords, Swords is governed by the element of air, so it's a suit all about our words and our ideas, our ideas, our thoughts, our outlook, our mental perspectives, our belief systems, how we look at things. It's a very mental and cerebral suit, and it's all about what goes on up here. So in the upright position, this Three of Swords is often referred to as the heartbreak card, the heartache card, uh, sometimes the breakup card in love and relationships. Uh, in the reverse, it looks like you are overcoming that. There is a healing uh, that's coming and, and overcoming a past pain, a past heartbreak, or a, a past deep disappointment of some kind. For some of you, this is going to represent... Um, uh, successful healing over uh, a bad breakup in the past, whether that's through reconciliation or just in the due course of time, you're healing from this. There's something about the month of June uh, where it really feels like um, yeah, things are coming together for you again. Um, past hurts, healing, past betrayals perhaps. In the upright position, this can also speak to a, a, a feeling of betrayal as well. In love and relationships, it can sometimes point to betrayal or breakup due to infidelity or unfaithfulness. But again, you got it in the reverse position paired with that Six of Wands. It's a great combination. It's it's a healing. It's a bringing back that together, bringing making whole that which was broken, um, healing, heartbreak, heartache, deep disappointments. I think for a lot of you, this is going to be healing of, of a heart pain, uh, of a, a, a bad breakup, a relationship. I feel like for a lot of you, I think for more than half of you, it's, it's relationship energy this month. And again, whether that's just uh, the natural due course of healing, that it's really just feels like it's it's you're really coming out of the gloom for the first time this month or whether there's been a reconciliation. I'm not getting particularly specific reconciliation energy, but again, as it always does, it's going to play out differently for those of you watching. Now, next to that, we have the Three of Cups paired with the Five of Cups in reverse. So the Three of Cups. Cups is governed by the element of water. So cups is a suit all about the watery, mercurial, fluid world of emotions and feelings. Cups can also represent love and relationships as well. And the three of cups is another, it's a card of celebration. I mean, it's right next to your victory, success, triumph card. Um, and you'll have to give me feedback on how this resonates because it almost feels like something specific happened. There was a specific occurrence to make you feel so triumphant and victorious, uh, Capricorn. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration. It's a card of, uh, so some of you may be celebrating something which represents the, the getting over of a bad breakup, whether it's uh, the celebration of a beautiful new relationship. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be work and career related as well. Maybe some of you have been out of work and are getting a new job or found that perfect job or got the job offer that you were really wanting. Um, Although I feel for the larger portion of you, it's more relationship oriented and it doesn't necessarily have to represent the healing of a love romance relationship that was broken, but it could be uh, where you've been estranged from someone, family member, best friend, something like that. You're getting together, uh, for some of you, you're getting together with this actual person um, or people, but you're just celebrating something. There's a strong social theme to the Three of Cups. It speaks to getting out, having fun with friends, with loved ones, spending a lot of time with people in whose company you feel very good, very comfortable, very authentic. Some of you are going to be celebrating the successful culmination of something. Um, uh, let me just take a quick look here again. We have two cups, two wands, two sword cards, one pentacle. So really... 
Uh, it's going to play out a variety of different ways for some of you, relationships, for some of you, job and career, um, for some of you, um, creative projects, successful career paths, graduation for some of you too, I'm seeing that. Uh, but it feels like whatever it is that you're celebrating that you've achieved triumph success over, whether it's you know, a difficult four years of college and you're finally graduating, a project, culminating a project, uh, recovering finally from a bad relationship breakup or reconciling, um, uh, receiving that great, I think some of you have received a job offer that you've really been waiting for um, and you are just, you are just popping the champagne on this one. Uh, however it plays out for you, um, you're getting together and celebrating with other people as well because it represents uh, the end of a time, again, of heartbreak, of heartache, and of focusing so much on the negative on what you don't have or what you feel has been taken away from you. Because that Three of Cups is accompanied by the Five of Cups in reverse. So in the upright position, the Five of Cups, again, that suit about our emotions, feelings, and relationships, you can see that there's a man sunk down on his knees in this grass and he's grieving. He's really grieving deeply about something. He's focusing on these three goblets, which are overturned and spilled out. Uh, all of his emotional and mental energy is spent on the, on something negative. He's grieving what he no longer has, what he's lost, what he feels has been taken away from him, what's changed in a ne negative way for him. The advice that comes with this card is to pull back some of that energy because this isn't the Three of Cups, it's the Five of Cups. Right behind this man are two other goblets, uh, beautiful golden glowing goblets, still upright, still full, represented, but he can't see them because his back is turned to him and all his attention is focused based Basically on the past. There is a time for honoring the past and then there is a time to say that it's done, tie a balloon string to it and wave goodbye and it looks like this is that month Capricorn because you got it with that beautiful celebratory three of cups. You got this five of cups in reverse. So it's it's an overcoming that. It's a coming to the end of a time where you were just focused on what you've lost, what's been taken away from you, broken heart, maybe a sense of betrayal, a sense of insufficiency, having lost your job, you, you now have another one. I mean, again, there's an even scattering of suits here. So it's going to play out in a variety of different ways. Um, now we also have the seven of wands followed by the Five of Swords. So the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is primarily a defensive card. And for some of you, this is going to mean also um, uh, that there's no longer a need to defend or guard against something. Uh, for some of you, this is going to represent standing by a decision you've made, standing by a, 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 a set of decisions or actions you've taken. Um, and, and perhaps what you've been triumphing over and what you're celebrating is um, a successful standing up for something or standing by something, defending something that you've invested a lot of yourself in. You can see the man on this card is standing in front of the door to his castle, his keep, his, you can substitute whatever it is that's so important to you because he feels a sense of ownership over it because of how much he's invested of himself in it. And he's defending it against um, these other six wands which are challenging or threatening him. So it's a card that can speak of uh, speaking your truth, standing by a decision you've made, standing up for something you believe very strongly in, defending something that you have invested a great deal of yourself in. And for some of you, that's where this success um, and triumph over something has come from. Um, you're having just stood, stood firm, stood solid, uh, uh, holding the line kind of is the feeling I'm getting. Now that Seven of Wands is accompanied by the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is a card, technically a victory, but it can represent a kind of a shallow, temporary kind of victory. Um, you can see that this man has just completed a battle of some kind. Uh, there's people behind him on the grass, obviously defeated. He's gathered up all their weapons and he's holding his own aloft in victory. But it's not a, he doesn't look particularly victorious. He looks sad, tired, worn out, depleted, exhausted. He's wounded. He's bleeding from a little cut on the forehead. The picture itself is grim. The colors are grim. Uh, this kid, this card begs the question, is it worth it? Was it worth it? Um, this card can point towards something perhaps costing you so much that it's not worth continuing in. Uh, it can also represent investing so much of yourself in winning or in gathering something or in getting ahead that it ends up costing you your emotional life or the or relationships in your life or the respect and trust and admiration of those around you. But I feel like paired with this Seven of Wands Capricorn,
I feel like actually this this five of swords for a lot of you represents um, some of the self-doubt you've had along this path, whatever you triumphed over, the challenge that you went through, the struggle that you went through, what you were uh, defending or working for. It feels like you, this five of swords energy, I'm feeling like it represents self-doubt you had along the way. Am I doing the right thing? Um, is this going to cost more than I'm willing to, uh, to give? Is the cost going to be too high? Am I doing the right thing? I feel like you stood firm uh, all of this time and you, you made the right decisions for you. And that's where you got this, uh, you know, this triumph, this victory. Um, it's a really great combination. It's just a strength, just kind of a strength. You, you, you had some periods of self-doubt. You questioned whether it was worth it, but you stood by it and and you succeeded. You triumphed. Um, and and you, you come into this knowledge at the end, at or towards the end of June 2016. It's really about um, getting, uh, appreciating who you are, recognizing everything that you went through to, to, to get through this, to overcome, to have the success and triumph. Uh, a deeper awareness and understanding of who you are, of what you've accomplished, and what else you may be able to accomplish. A month of coming, of uh, of coming into your own power, kind of at the end of the month, um, and, and really embracing yourself and what you're capable of achieving. Because at the end of June 2016, right around there, because time is always fluid, we have the Two of Pentacles, followed by the World card. The Two of Pentacles. Pentacles is governed by the element of Earth, so it's a suit all about things in our earthly tangible material environment things we can see and touch and feel and most often it represents things like money finances job property resources assets etc tangible earthly things but you can also apply those same uh, energies to love and relationships or spirituality as well it's about the tangible visible manifestation of um, of what we've invested in something uh, which it looks like you have quite successfully Capricorn you can see this man is juggling these two big beautiful pentacles juggling very successfully uh, although it is taking all of his attention and focus and um, he's doing it successfully though he, it, from the outside looking in it appears he's doing it effortlessly um, which it looks like you have uh, Capricorn however there is a cautionary piece of advice attached to the two of the Pentacles make sure that um, in the in the heat of the moment and and in um, kind of embracing everything that you've achieved and everything you've worked so hard for that you don't get so focused on work or on in involving yourself in this thing that you fail to start noticing um, you know other things that may be going around you uh, because this man has his back turned to the shore and there's some really truly beautiful things behind him. Uh, there's a rainbow, which is sometimes a symbolism, a symbol of good luck and good fortune, the pot at the end of the rainbow. There's a ship coming in here, uh, your ship coming in, it could be coming in loaded with gifts or good news. There's a dolphin leaping in the, in the water here and dolphins have long been harbingers of good news and good fortune. Uh, he's not seeing any of those things because his back is turned to him. All of his, his attention and energy is focused on juggling. It could be that out of towards the end of June 2016, Capricorn, you find yourself really busy, involved in a lot of things. It's always a good thing, particularly after everything you've overcome. But be careful not to become so involved, um, particularly if it's work that uh, you miss any other opportunities which may come along or just fail to enjoy the things in your life. Um, but it is a month of self-achievement and self-awareness of everything that you've achieved and how much it cost, how much you invested to get there because that Two of Pentacles is paired with the World card, Major Arcana. The World card on its surface is a card of feeling like you're just on top of the world, but deeper than that, it's a card again of, of, of achievement, of of an awareness of yourself, a deeper awareness and embracing of what you've both accomplished and are, are capable of achieving in the future. The analogy I like to use for the world card is that you've climbed a mountain, you're at the top, you're at the pinnacle, and it's not to say that there aren't other mountains to climb because it's life, there's always a mountain to climb if we choose to. But for some reason, this mountain has had particular significance for you and you're at the top and you're looking back down at the path you just walked. Everything it cost you, all the successes and triumphs, all the defeats and failures, all the times where you were you doubted, you almost gave up, but you didn't, you persevered. You're at the top and all of a sudden it hits you that you made it. And you get that wonderful feeling of self-accomplishment and self-pride, self-realization um, of 
even even through all the doubt that that you actually did it and then you start to wonder you have an appreciation of what you're able to do and you start to wonder what else you're capable of it's a it's a wonderful uh, deep inner feeling of achievement and self-actualization so uh, what a beautiful month Capricorn um, and again you're triumphing over some challenge but I think that it was very personal whether it was actual heartbreak or breakup um, uh, having losing something, having something being taken away from you, a sense of disappointment. Again, relationships, job, career, however this plays out for you. Um, it's a card of moving away from that time, triumphing over that, and moving into a, a more stable, secure, peaceful uh, time in your life, uh, which is underscored by your crowning card, which is the Six of Swords, which is a card that says exactly, it's it's all about m moving from troubled, turbulent waters into smoother, serene, peaceful, stable waters. In other tarot decks, I've seen the water behind this boat be very choppy and wavy and turbulent, and the water in front of the boat be very smooth and placid and serene. It's a card that speaks of, it's a transitional card. You're moving through, you're in the process of moving through and away from whatever the source of this pain and challenge and hard work was, and you're doing it successfully, and you're you're just about there. This this month is just, it's, it's celebrating and moving finally into that place of peace and stability, um, Capricorn. So what a beautiful reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I have enjoyed it. I hope it's brought you some uh, insight and clarity, some wisdom, some food for thought on the path ahead. And if any of you are interested in a personal reading, again, you can click on the about sign on my channel's homepage, and you can email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. And until I see you again in a couple of weeks for the June 2016 mid-month readings, as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life, Capricorn. See you soon. Bye.